Have you ever asked the question, how do you cook 50 pounds of mashed potatoes in one go? Well, I'm gonna find out. If you're gonna cook them all at once, you need a pot like this. So this is 40 quarts. So I should be able to cook all the potatoes in one go. So that'll be a little more efficient. Then you need a guy like this to mash the potatoes or rice them. This is a, a food ricer. You put your potato in here, squeeze, rice potatoes come out here. That should speed up the process considerably. And then you mix your mashed potatoes or your rice potatoes with uh, butter and cream or whatever, and you should have mashed potatoes. Let's get peeling. I should mention I was making 50 pounds of mashed potatoes because I was catering a friend's wedding, not because I wanted a year's supply for my lunches. These are russet potatoes. They have a high starch content, which makes them really good for making fluffy mashed potatoes. Then you need a burner to heat up the potatoes. So I'm gonna use this jet burner that I built. I add about a quarter of a cup of butter. And then I add in my coffee cream. And this I just kind of gauge. I add a little bit at a time, maybe a quarter of a cup, half a cup. And then I use my masher and I just mix it all. It's already pretty mashed because of the ricer but this will just give it that little extra fluffiness. Try not to beat the potatoes too much. And for salt, we'll add about a teaspoon of salt. I'll do this in batches and I'll do five pounds at a time. Alrighty, so that was an hour and a half of a lot of potatoing. A lot of ricing, mixing, mashing, and then cleaning. But I have six and a half trays of potatoes. Here they are right there. So I'm gonna try a little bit. They're still really warm. Mmm. They're really light and fluffy buttery and the cream really makes a difference using uh, coffee cream and light cream as a combination so on the day when I need to reconstitute these I'm gonna heat them up I'm gonna re-add some milk and butter to it 
or cream and butter and they're ready to serve. So anyways, uh, I gotta do a little more cleaning. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. What would go great with these potatoes is my beef brisket video. So go give that a check out. And thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. Bye for now. Also, lastly, I vacuum sealed all the potatoes so they could be reheated quickly in a water bath at the wedding. It was as simple as heat a pot of water, add a package of potatoes, mix with some fresh cream and butter to give it some that extra creamy, yummy goodness. These potatoes, yeah, they got rave reviews for reheated potatoes, so no one even knew the difference. Okay, bye for now.